Today I wanted to discuss the header and how to move it forward or backward underneath your page content. Um, the reason I want to do this in this case is that I have a strip background video that appears behind um, each page and I wanted each page to be unique. So what I've done is I've created that strip and I've moved it up behind the header um, so that it changes based on what page you're on. To do this, you need to have that strip as part of the page itself rather than the header. header. And one thing that I've run into is the arrangement of the header. Sometimes if I choose a different header um, setting, and let's, let's do this. If I click on this header, um, you have to make sure you select the header. If you're not sure if you have this header selected, you can use overlapping items and choose it. Then you can, you can choose this header scroll settings icon. Um, and you'll see there's different options. There's a freeze, there's a disappears, there's a fade out. In this case, a freeze wouldn't work, and here's why. Uh, when you move this down, because there's nothing behind that image, um, it just it looks like this floating mistake on the page. Same thing with some of these other settings. In this case, now if I were to put a bar here and have a solid bar, or even a somewhat transparent bar, it'd be fine. But in this case, I don't want a bar here. Um, and so that effect is just not really, it's not working in this case. So let's go back here. I'm going to select the header again, and sometimes you can select it. I have a, a strip in here so that I can have this flexing based on the screen size. I'm using columns to flex. Um, but to get the header selected, you want to make sure you click on it, and then you'll see the change header design that will indicate that you are have that selected. So I can also use disappear, but that doesn't work either with this because as you scroll down, it disappears, but then if you scroll up, it reappears and then it looks again like a mistake. So I don't like these effects. Um, so what I want to do is I want it to scroll with site. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to choose, let's click on this header scroll settings. And I'm going to say scroll with site. Now, sometimes when I do this, my header gets put behind the main image. I don't know why it does this. It doesn't always do it, but it does a lot of times. And I run into this and then I'm like, well, wait, what happened to my header? It's disappeared. How do I get it back? Well, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to show you how it looks sometimes. So sometimes when I choose that it scrolls, the header scrolls with the site, my header gets pushed behind whatever content I have. So if I am using this full image, background or video get background, then it hides my menu basically. We certainly don't want that. So to fix that, the only way I've been able to find is to right click on the header area um, and on a Mac that's control click. And then you'll see overlapping items. You can choose header. And then now again, we have to use our keys on our keyboard and on a Mac, it's command upward arrow. So you may need to have a keyboard that has the upward, downward, side to side arrows. Um, but if you use the upward arrow, it'll push, pull that header to the front. If I push the downward arrow, it'll push it back. Well, I want it to be on that top layer. That way it shows up on every page. It's in front of the page content. Um, I have not been able to figure out a different way to get that to pull forward. If I click on header here, I can't really right click on this and arrange it. It won't allow me to bring it to front. Even if it, um, let's put it back again using my key commands. But if I come here and say bring to front, it doesn't always work. So <laughs> I really like to um, use those key commands. So I just wanted to show in this case, it did kind of let me move it forward and backward. Right now I'm using my key commands, my command upward arrow or downward arrow to move things back and forward. Um, but if I just right click on this, a lot of times it might not necessarily, let me put it in the background. And then if I click here again and I choose header and if I try to click on arrange, sometimes it lets me to do the bring, well in this case it's not. So uh, again, using those don't always work, but your key commands will. So command, upward arrow. I'm not sure what that is on a PC. Just check what the Wix key command is for arranging front to back or back to front. Um, and you can then use your keyboard to move things into the front. I'm doing this because I keep running into this and I'm like, what did I do to get this to work? Because 
the arrange tool by right clicking or again on a Mac control click um, wasn't giving me that option to bring to front all the time or sometimes when I clicked on it it didn't actually bring it to front but the key commands do work so just something to keep in mind if you ever want to have a background image that fills the page on all your pages and you want each page to be unique this is the way to do it you you put your menu up here in the menu or in the header area and then you put your strip uh, and that's what this is this is just a, a strip with a video in it oh and I don't want to attach it to the header that's one thing because I don't want every page to be the same so in this case I want to drag it up but make sure I'm not dragging my cursor into the header area so it doesn't attach it to the header. We, that's what I'm trying to avoid in this case. Um, and then you can preview it and make sure it, it looks good across all different pages. So this is now solved here. That's great. And again, there are different header effects. So feel free to click on these, click on your header, make sure you have the header selected, and then click on header scroll settings. And you can choose some of these other um, effects and these will work if you have let's say a bar behind your header a solid bar usually solid is best for visibility um, but if you're doing something like me where there is no bar it's it's see-through and it's seeing through to a background object and you want each page to be unique this is the way to do it to use the scroll with sight and then to make sure that you move the header forward to the top layer so it shows consistently across all the pages Happy Wixing!